Winter? I hardly know her. Welcome back. Um, we have a brand spanking new town to explore and all the wonders that come with that. Um, right off the bat, it looks like we have fabulous prizes to be won over here. It's just, it's just a bit of Ziggy. Just a little bit of Ziggy, but you know, better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, have we? We haven't really started speaking to people yet either. We got a lot of a lot of ground to cover here. There's a very cool windmill here. Big fan of a windmill, personally. Is this? Wait. But I just, I was just up. I was just up there. I was just up there, though. Are you sure? Hang on. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. What what happened here? Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Don't know how I missed that when I was up there last time, but fair enough. Problem solved. There was like a... an epic troll item buried in the... in the middle of the ice that you slide over that I can't seem to get, which is a, a dang shame, but I guess we can live without that. Also, there just seems to be... oh wait, we can get up there. I thought this was like a... I mean, what is this? Why is there just like a diving board? <laughs> I mean, presumably this is like a pond? during the spring, but is it deep and it doesn't look deep enough to go throwing yourself into from high places. I think that seems like a dangerous maneuver, honestly. Really? Nothing here? Appears to be full of fabulous prizes, this town. I'll give it that. Like that, that might come in handy. And that, that might come in handy. And <laughs> <laughs> that might come in. <laughs> really? Really? Are we done now? Is that all of them? <laughs> that was an insane amount of random items to find just just lying around in the middle of a town. There was no challenge to overcome there aside from turning my item finder on, I guess. Thanks for that, I suppose. I mean, I don't know why you had that because I didn't actually read your dialogue, but... um. I appreciate the uh, fancy Johto snack treat. This is gonna, this is gonna torment me. I mean, I'm sure it'll become spring soon enough. It seems like seasons change every couple real life weeks, something like that. Also appears to be stuff over there, but looking at what's over there, I believe this is the way out of town, is it? Yeah, that's Route 8. So we will have a new catch over there, but we'll get to that. I want to finish exploring the town first. On one step at a time sort of thing, you know? I don't like to completely... <laughs> what is this fucking cult that's happening here? This is reminding me of... Um, everyone's played Elden Ring, I don't have to describe it too hard, but the, the area in Elden Ring on the plateau where there's all the, the women that dance in circles and then come swinging giant butcher knives and hooks and shit at you if you get too close. Very courty. Very courty. Spin apart, mix and twirl. I agree. You got anything to add to that? Yeah? Alright. What about you? Two dragons. Mix it up day and night, because today everything's alright. I don't know if they're in a cult, but they're definitely high. <laughs> they have definitely been um, partaking in certain substances, and they have a secret Pokeball present, all for me, so that's pretty, pretty wonderful. What's this? Pokemon fan club. Dope. Anything cool in here? How are you raising your Pokemon with loving care? Yes? Which Pokemon will you show me? Oh, you just want to see someone who likes me? I guess Lavender's a good bet for that, since he's been with me forever. Oh, this Venus was level 5 when you met, but now it's level 36. You've raised it well. You must be affectionate. Have a second XP share? Don't know if I was supposed to be able to get two of those, but... I guess that will make leveling up easier when I get to a a position where I need to suddenly raise people up from low levels again, which, you know, based on my current track record, probably isn't completely unlikely to happen. Uh, we can do a friendliness check here as well, that's useful I guess, if we ever have something that evolves through friendliness. I'm not sure we have anything like that right now, but at some point maybe. This stinks of gym. Is this a gym? It's a gym. Can I have some fresh water, please? Thank you. It's like we've got what is 
Canonically an ice gym, but will definitely not be an ice gym in my case, but we'll, we'll come back to that as well. Other things to deal with first. Other things first. The fuck? Why hi? Why hi? <laughs> this way, please. Exciting, thrilling, zippy, chilling, it's pep quiz. Today's challenger is this person who just stormed into our house. Why are they called Y and Aha? <laughs> Hiya, welcome. Pep quiz starts now. Answer lots of quizzy questions and watch your brain get brainier. Let's start with a question. I like these guys. I like these guys. They talk exactly how I talk, where you just can't finish a sentence and then just spit some random words out. It's pretty cool. Good luck. And she's called Ditto, apparently. I don't know. I feel like these names are a reference to something that I'm not getting. A question. What is a vehicle you pedal? Oh my, it's tremendously difficult. Can the challenger answer this? I think I might manage, to be honest. Hint, hint. Oh, oh, the, the, the audience is asking for a hint. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Hint, it has two wheels. <laughs> this is a good hint. Challenger, please answer. Wit, wit, wit is a vehicle you pedal. Oh shit. Um. Lifestyle? Bicycle. That was lucky. I had no idea where that was going to be. I guess lifestyle made the most sense, but... Confirm. Woohoo, that is C-O-R-R-E-C-T. You go, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, good hustle. Congratulations, now this is a prize. It's an antidote. Exciting thrilly zippy chilling, that's the pep quiz. See you tomorrow. You will not see me tomorrow. That took a very serious amount of my time up, and it rewarded me with a single antidote. If you don't see why that's a problem, then I, I can't help you at this point, honestly. Uh, what's up here, then? More fields? Are these? No, they're not. Oh, they're also not Route 8. I thought they were in town at first. Um... Turns out they are not in town, nor are they in Route 8. They are a separate area. This is Dragon Spiral Tower. Is that what it's called? This is where I'm meant to be going, I think. Yeah, here's our, our good pal. That building serenely towering over everything is Dragon Spiral Tower. Far, far, far in the past. Before Unova was founded, it still stands tall today. On the top floor, so it's been told, the legendary Pokemon is waiting for a, po a person pursuing ideals to appear. Any ideals? I've got some pretty lackluster ideals, like, um, I, uh, champion the Sega Saturn quite, quite strongly. I don't think that's the sort of ideals you're looking for, though, is it? <laughs> if I'm honest with you. Uh, so, we can catch a Pokemon here. I'm assuming in here is going to be the same area, though. We need to surf. We need to surf to get there. So we can catch a Pokemon surfing, presumably, or a Pokemon inside the tower itself, or a Pokemon in the previous fields. I guess we just... I guess we just try and surf across here, and if we run into something on the way, then so be it. Um... Can't seem to get in. Also, there's a Golem in this ocean. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm afraid of it going boom on me, but it's worth noting, this thing has sturdy. So it'll be very easy to catch if it doesn't go boom. If it opts not to boom, we just hit it with this and then it's on one health, right? Beautiful. It is fucking kicking my ass right now. You want to go to sleep as well? Just to... Ah, shit. That's not great. Mm. Slick, you want to... Slick, you want to... Yeah. And there it goes. I guess it was never meant to be. That doesn't kill Slick, right?
apparently it does zero dip. Did it miss? Did it just miss? I thought self-destruct was 100 accurate. What? Bright powder. <laughs> I mean, I should be sad that I missed my encounter there. But honestly, a golem exploded on one of my Pokemon and did zero damage. And honestly, I'm, I'm just... I'm a little bit ecstatic about that. <laughs> that actually brightened my day up, if anything. Plus, we've got another encounter on Route 8. So it's not like we've... We're getting nothing around here, right? We're, we'll, we'll be catching something, hopefully. Hopefully, he says. Uh, we're going to lead with Lavender to make sure we can just sleep whatever it is and, you know, not have too bad a time trying to catch it. Because I would like a new catch, honestly, because, uh, you know, as much as I love my team, backups, backups are nice. Having a little something in reserve would be very much appreciated. Oh shit, can we not get to grass? We can't get to grass yet. We have to beat this trainer. Or maybe not. We can slip slide round here. Heal block. I'm sure someone thinks that's a really cool move to get, but... Not me so much. Oh, I can't say I was crying out for heal block right now. Where's this item? Is it like in the middle of this... Yeah, it's in the middle of this frozen bit I can't actually get into. That's kind of annoying. Okay, I guess we'll fight this trainer then. Uh, let's lead Herman. What you got? Three Pokemon, that's pretty scary. Okay, Chimchar, we can we can beat a Chimchar, I'm sure. Not overly concerned about a Chimchar. Do, 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 do. Even if it is trying to special sweep me. That would have been the ideal time for them, obviously, for Rock Slide to miss and for this thing to just completely sweep my team, to just get completely bodied by a Chimchar. Magma, I think we deal with that as well. Fairly okay. Confuse Ray upsets me. Um, <laughs> would rather not be confused right now. That's fine. That's good. And we one shot. Beautiful. Love to see it. And a Larvesta. Okay, I don't like being confused. Normally I'd switch out here, but. This is going to die so hard to a rock slide. <laughs> kind of has to be done. Plus, I mean, it's not really going to do a great deal to me, is it? I actually got super lucky with confusions there. Thank you. Thank you, Pokemon Black, for actually not being criminal for once. Thank you for the berries. It seems like rangers are the only way of getting berries in this game. I've not seen any like actual bushes for growing them, which is a bit weird. Don't know why I couldn't surf in that patch I was up against a second ago, but... Here we go. Eee! Let me just beat this fine lady as well, just in case, you know, we try and sneak past her and then she catches us on the way back or whatever, like, rather just be, uh, be good and done with this. Um, that's weak to bug bite, right? It might be weak, weak to rock slide, I don't actually know, but <laughs> as long as it's weak to something, I'm happy to just keep killing things with Herman. Herman's doing some work, honestly. That should be weak to Rock Slide. <clears throat> Just obnoxiously clear my throat there. Sorry, I've been in meetings all day. I've had to actually talk today. I hate it when my job requires me to talk to people. <laughs> There's a reason I became a programmer, goddammit. I just want to sit in a corner and just... Just... Avoid the sunlight. <laughs> 
That's my dream job. Um, is there any way I can, like, do this? Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to do. No, it's not. No, it's not. It still doesn't get me to the area I wanted to be in. Oh, well, I tried. Another trainer up there. Another ranger, specifically. Um, another trainer here as well. No fields, you'll note, though. I mean, I guess I could catch something in the water. Have another shot at a golem, maybe. I don't know what they replace. Possibly uh, Gyarados. Possibly. Can't actually go up this way, can I? Unless I do this. Okay, there's a little, like, foresty area there. I guess we'll fight her. See what lieth beyondeth. I'm just really out to just catch another Pokemon before we tackle this gym and, you know, I guess do a little bit more leveling up as well, considering we haven't done that at all, <laughs> really, since the last gym. A few levels in Twist Mountain, I guess, but... Like, my highest levels are still about the same as my highest levels were previously. Why did I stay in against this? I mean, that's going to be neutral, right? Yeah. And Rock Slides... Super effective. Okay, grass doesn't resist. Um, grass doesn't resist rock. Good to know. Learning about Pokemon all the time and immediately forgetting the knowledge I acquire. That's probably the end of Herman being out in front until we go back to the Poke Center at least, though. That was a lot of experience for a fucking Jumpluff. I mean, I know it's a, a fully evolved three-stage Pokemon, so it should be worth a lot of experience, but it's also a little bit dog shit, so... No offense to the fallen hoppip in my graveyard right now, but it's never gonna be a lavender, you know. <laughs> never gonna be quite be on that caliber. There's an item here. How do I get that item? Wait. Huh? Oh wait, wait. I think I, I think I see it. I think I solved the puzzle. If I don't want to catch something in the water, I need to be very careful about not running into something in the water. Worth noting. <laughs> really just throwing these stardusts at me at the moment, and I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Puzzles are difficult. Right. What's over here, then? There's like a bridge down there by the looks of it. That's got to be the route to the, the next town, surely, that way. So what's in here? Is this still Route 8? It isn't. It's the more of Icarus. Personally, I prefer less of Icarus, but I guess if this is how it has to be. <gasps> An opportunity to use strength. I knew it would come in handy. I knew I could justify my actions. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, skate on round here. Okay, we got some sort of puzzle here. In these hereabouts. Which I solved surprisingly easily, but it was once again just a stardust. I don't know if there's like a specific item. Oh. There's another item in the middle of the ice there. But yeah, I don't know if there's like a specific item that um, has been replaced with stardust that you get a lot of around here for thematic reasons, you know? I don't know if that's what's going on here. How do I fight this trainer? Can I fight this trainer? Is this is it possible to fight this trainer? Is she a trainer? I feel like I've gone in front of her eye line before and she just hasn't fought me. Yeah, see? I need to actually stop and speak to her, which I don't think I can do. I don't think I can do that. Guess I'll just leave then. 
tempting fate there with a potential wild encounter, but I feel like there's going to be something cool in here, is the thing. I feel like there's going to be like a, a stationary spawn. Maybe not a legendary necessarily, but like, you know, the, the Lapras in that one cave in Gold and Silver, or, you know, your classic Snorlax encounter or whatever. Pseudo Wudo in Gold and Silver. That sort of deal. Like this. Oh, okay. Well, here's our more Vicarious encounter. What is it? Okay. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Let's get Lavender out here, put this thing to sleep, try and whittle it down a little bit. This makes a good case. Not a great case. Don't get me wrong. But a good case, nonetheless. For swapping out Crenicio. Because a dark type would be so good for this team right now. Crenicio has carried us. He's been such a fucking legend. Oh, she, sorry, has been such a fucking legend in the short time she's been on this team. So I don't feel like I can do her like that. But this thing would be so useful. Well, at least it's a backup for Crenicio in case, you know, the worst happens. Right? It's a plan B. I didn't realise how badly I wanted a dark type until now, though. I guess the biggest argument against having Bisharp on the team is that, um... Bisharp, I guess, isn't it? Because it's meant to be after a bish bishop chess piece. Um... Uh, the argument against it is that it'll be super weak to fighting and my team already has a bit of a fighting issue, so maybe that wouldn't be ideal. But, like, come on. <laughs> come on now. Um, um, you know what? I don't think he's actually a bishop. I think he's merely a deacon. <laughs> Don't know why I had to do him like that, but there we are. That's how it is. Uh, item up here? Item where? Item where? I'll take it. But yeah, it's not a bad encounter at all. Not a bad encounter at all. Like team worthy realistically but I think just for the sake of not having to level up another Pokemon to, to reach, our, reach our standards and because I don't want to kick poor Crenicio out on her ass uh, we won't use, use Deacon just yet but definitely one to consider definitely a nice thing to have in the back especially since we missed out on that Golem admittedly Golem isn't the best Pokemon in the world because it's got it's four times weak to both grass and water but in spite of that, it would have been nice to just have another fully evolved Pokemon just waiting in the wings in case the worst could should happen. Let me talk about this incredibly fateful encounter, by the way, with the Ares just running straight into something that Ares can, quite frankly, body. Oh. I stand corrected. You disappoint me, Ares. I really thought I'd one-shot that. It's not even fully evolved, is it? Or is that the fully evolved one? I actually don't remember with these things because they're so horrible to look at that I tend to just avert my eyes when they're on the screen. I haven't really committed their sprites to memory. Another Medicham. Um, we had little issue with one of these last time. I suppose I shouldn't get too cocky. But they are notably quite slow and quite fragile. Done. It's nice to just be able to sweep through a couple of fights, you know, without having to be too too paranoid about them. Just knowing that we can quite confidently take some dudes down is 
looked quite nice for once. Ooh, carbos! Ooh. Um, I don't know who to give these to, actually, because most of our team is quite painfully slow anyway. To the point where carbos won't really help them too much. I could just keep pumping Ares' speed to try and offset the speed down nature she's got. And to make me less more likely to uh, drop quick attack for a slightly more useful coverage move, perhaps. Yeah? I guess, yeah. Go fast. Go fast, Ares. I'm surprised Ares and Lavender at least aren't starting to get to the point where they, uh, they're they maxed out on EVs, actually. They've seen a lot of battle, those two. Lavender especially. Ooh. We're still okay to lead Ares, I think. Want to fight? Please don't be too scary. You got three Pokemon. The first one's a Metang. This isn't. This isn't what I want. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, this isn't what I wanted to deal with today. Um, pretty certain this has Levitate, so we'll go to the Anti Joe to hit it with Fire moves. I think. It's probably the best option here. Plus, Andy Joe just takes whatever it gets hit with pretty well, I think. I don't know what that was, I skipped through it, but. Oh, fuck, it's 95 accurate, man. <laughs> First time pressing Sacred Fire. That did nothing, what the hell? Are these things, like, especially physically bulky? I wasn't aware of that. I knew they just had like all round good stats, but I didn't think they were like proper physical walls like uh, the other one, Bronzong, is. So the complete lack of a burn that I've gotten on this thing is very disappointing to me. So are you a psychic trainer or a steel trainer is the question I've got for you. And that's the answer you've got for me. That's honestly fine. Slick, get your ass in here. We can deal with an Agron quite comfortably, I think. Prinicio? Ah! There's someone who can't deal with an Agron quite comfortably. <laughs> right there. You want to fuck off with the roars, mate? You want to not? You want to not use roar? Yeah, that's better. Protect on swapping. That's that's ideal. There's quite a bit of damage. Not as much of that, though. Not as much as that. Hey, way to go, Ares. Oh, shit. This doesn't have levitate, right? It has like magnet pull or something. So we should be good to we should be good to mud bomb it. So many things that you expect to have levitate but actually don't. And it catches me off guard every time. I have to stop and have a proper think about it every single time I see a Pokemon hover a little bit. Thanks for the citrus berry there. Genuinely really cool of you. I should be using berries more, honestly. Definitely not using, getting my full use out of berries. I'm using just sort of fairly mediocre hold items instead of berries quite often. I need to not do that, I think. I think that's my, that's my biggest problem right now. <laughs> Maybe not my biggest problem. It's a problem though. It's a thing I need to be more aware of. How do I... Oh, I think I see. I think I've worked it out. Give me a second. Can I not get... Fine. I'll go from here then. I think I need to surf down here. These guys are just all over the place, huh? It's only level 21. I think I kill this. I think I kill this for experience. Probably going to be a couple of attack EVs, which is quite nice, so Phoenicio and Ares can both appreciate those. You want to get Earthquake, pal? 
feel a little bit bad about this, but not that bad. Oh, actually, it wasn't worth any XP at all, but I bet the attack EVs will be nice. If we go down from here. Yeah, there we go. Did it. Um, I don't like you. I don't like this suspicious fisherman I've just sort of bumbled into. We'll keep leading Ares, actually. What beats Dark? I know fighting does. Is it not? Is, is there another weakness on Dark? I feel like there is, but I just cannot think for the life of me what it is. Very, very beats Dark, right? Fairy doesn't currently exist. That's going to do quite a bit of damage, isn't it? I wasn't quite expecting that much damage. I'll be honest, when I said that's going to do quite a bit of damage, I did not expect it to one-shot my highest level Pokémon. I mean, yeah, Ares had taken a little bit of chip, but like... What the fuck? What just happened? How did that just happen? I mean, this thing's fucking dead, don't get me wrong, but I just want to sit on this for a second. How the fuck? Go on, Crenicio. Kill this fucker. I didn't trust the fisherman, man. I didn't trust it. Turns out I had good reason not to trust it. Turns out it was a really, really bad fisherman. Oh, fuck it now, that was Ares. Remember all the times in the early game when Ares just destroyed things for me? When Ares was just the hero we didn't deserve, but the hero we did in fact need? And all this for an item that I'm not even sure I can actually get. I'm trying, I'm trying to work it out, but it's not going great so far. Who do we even bring in? I mean, I don't think... I don't think Deacon's going to be the answer here, because we've already got a Steel type. That's going to give us an even more glaring fighting weakness, which was the sort of... The major, major use of Ares on the team was to deal with fighting types. Can't get that item. It's out of my hands. So... So who else do we have in reserve? Who else could take over the reins of the great Ares quite so easily? You know, I think I know the answer to this question and I don't like it. I think I know what I have in reserve that can help me deal with fighting types and I... I really don't want to add it to the team. really don't want to add it to the team, man. What are you doing in there? You're not dead. Ugh. I think TR might be our best chance. Although... Having said that, 
We have a potential flying dragon type. And a flying psychic type. Both of which... Both of which would quite comfortably replace our boy girl. Our boy girl. The greatest boy girl ever to ever to live. <sighs> Thanks for your scope lens. I'm sorry. That abs oh man. Ugh, I'm never gonna be over that. I'm never gonna get over that abs. I know it's sword stance, don't get me wrong, I'm well aware I saw the sword stance happen. That's why I was expecting big damage, but it was bite. It's not like it was using a fucking 120 base power move or something. It was lower level than me. Why the hell did it hit so hard? So I'm looking at I'm looking at this guy. I'm looking at Dracul over here. Um That klutz is not the best, is it? I don't know if it will drop that when it evolves, but right now that's a pretty dog shit ability for it to have. So on that alone, speed, a special defense nature down nature is pretty bad as well. But natural cure is quite good. I think I think we add Nimbus to the team. I think I think Nimbus is going to be our new friend. Because I really don't want to use TR. I really don't. <laughs> I like what they stand for. <laughs> I don't like anything else about them as, as a person. <laughs> Alright Nimbus, um, we have a little present for you. Probably have several presents for you in the form of TMs and stuff, but... For right now, we don't really need to bother about kitting you out for battle so much as we need to worry about getting you level ups. So here you go, one XP share. We've got a couple more battles to deal with, and then I guess we're going to be on to the gym with a, a pretty, a pretty severe gap in the team. A notably severe gap in the team as a result of what just went down, but can't be helped, I suppose. I mean. I hate to say it, of everyone we could have lost, the early root bird probably wasn't the worst thing. Also, this would be our first encounter on this route as an aside, but species claws. <laughs> Get species clawsed by shop. Alright, let's fight these trainers, shall we? Oh, that's... That's a really good move, isn't it? I believe that's um, Volcarona's like, special move, which I'm pretty certain is pretty damn good from what I remember. Fiery Dance. Where is it? Did I go past it? Did I just miss that entirely? Yes, I did. 80 power, 100 accuracy, may raise special attack. Okay, it's not as busted as I thought it was. How does that compare to Sacred Fires? 20 less damage. Plus the chance of leaving with a burn is nice. I don't like the 5% accuracy loss, though, on Sacred Fire. I don't know. I guess I'll keep using Sacred Fire, and if it starts to annoy me too much, I'll switch over to Fiery Dance. That's probably going to be how this plays out. This one's actually a trainer. A for a gigas. Coffagrigus. That thing. You know the uh That's pretty scary, isn't it? Oh no, it was guard split. I thought it was pain split it just used. Okay, um, yeah, uh, Kofangrigus used to be not usable online in, in Pokemon unless you uh, renamed it because there's a slur in the middle of its name. <laughs> Which is just another one of those those funny Pokemon facts that I love to bring up if I get the opportunity.
That's the second one involving slurs that I brought up recently as well, I think, right? I was talking about the chat hot thing on this on in these videos, not just to someone I know in real life, right? That was a thing. Um this is what Nimbus is gonna become. And right now I don't really have an answer for it. I have no ice moves. I have no dragon moves. So I guess I guess it's gonna resist surf. It's gonna be immune to mud bomb. I think we just U-turn on this bitch. It's not going to do much damage, but... It's going for takedown. That's useful information, at least. Uh, I guess Herman hits it super, effective, super effectively with Rock Slide, right? Cool. <laughs> cool, I guess. Oh, that was actually a lot more damage than I was expecting. What is this thing doing? <laughs> what is your uh, game plan here? Did you just realize you were against a rock type and just give up? Was that was that your plan there? I like Ninjask. It's going to die in one rock slide, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. I am very afraid of anything that uses that move now. I am deathly afraid of anything that swords dances ever. I feel like I had the opportunity to drop fly for acrobatics at one point on Ares, and if I'd done that I would have A one shotted the um Absol and B not given it a free turn to set up anyway. Which I guess is a about as good an argument against having fly in your moveset as I've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Wait, 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 what was that? If you like rocks, come back tomorrow. Roll in at a different time if possible. I'll be here. I promise. <laughs> They're saying that we need to be in Dragon Spiral Tower, but I've been there and there's nothing going on. I guess maybe I beat the gym first and then something will go on at Dragon Spiral Tower? Like how the... Team Plasma showed up and raided the museum after I beat Lenora. I guess maybe that's what's happening there. That does look like we are now officially out of stuff to do around here, which is a shame because we got Ares up like three levels in that section before we killed her. So, uh, wasted a little bit of experience there, I think. I guess we've got gym trainers to go yet, yeah. so we're not straight into the gym leader. Maybe clear out a few of them and uh, see what we're dealing with. Hopefully get a feeling on who's going to be best to lead against the gym leader, if nothing else. I can't find the gym. There it is. I've already had your fresh water, haven't I? Okay, ice puzzle. That's fine. I'm a smart boy. I can work out this ice puzzle. Nope, too tough for me, sorry. Can't do it. Oh. Well, that wasn't even remotely obvious. I thought that would just turn me at a hard 90 degrees, not spin me round onto this ice plate. Okay. What type are we looking at then? Clue me in. Fighting or dark? It will suck if it's fighting, I'll tell you that. I mean, we don't really have an answer for Dark either, for that matter. But we just got bodied by a Dark Pokémon. Neither of these are things we're great at. Right now. Dark it is, then. Dark is precisely what it is. Got me real good with that one. Mist is kind of shit, isn't it? Yeah, it prevents stats lowering for five... Or, or being cut for five turns. It's just worse haze. Or is defog another one? There's several moves like this, and there's some that just remove status effects completely, and I guess that stops them from being lowered, but by that point, by the time you're using it, you generally already have status drops that you can't do anything about, so yeah, mist is just a bit 
is a bit dog shit, honestly. I'll go without mist, is what I'm saying to you. Give up on mist, yes, please. Okay, so now we've got the real Scrafty. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to one-shot this one with a... Ooh, that's going to do some damage. Yeah, okay. All right. We're going to have a high jump kick coming in on us. Um, Herman can't take it. Quinicio can't take it. Antigio can't take it. I guess it's going to be down to Lavender again. I always just hope it misses, I suppose. Like that. Thank you very much. Um, and I don't think it one-shots Lavender. Apparently Lavender outspeeds as well. Lavender's a surprisingly speedy little fucker, honestly. Lavender can move sometimes. Still had a purloin at the end. Still had a little bonus purloin just to spice things up. <laughs> I felt like a bit of an anticlimax after the Scrafty that nearly one-shot one of my tankiest Pokémon, but... Uh, Okay. Good thing it's a dark type gym, actually, because I think we really are a lot worse against fighting types. We don't really have an answer, as in like a super effective sweep to dark types, but fighting types, I think, are generally just super threatening to half my team. Like, the anti Joe, Cronicio, and um, I think Herman's neutral, actually. I think Bug resists fighting for some unhinged reason, but. You know, even so, two Pokemon in my team weak to fighting moves is, is not great. And the only resist we've got is um, is Lavender, so... Yeah, we don't really have um, a Pokemon of choice for this one, it seems. I guess I'll just keep leveling everyone pretty, pretty equilaterally. Give Herman an Aaron. Tends to be an ice puzzle. It's really not an ice puzzle. <laughs> I don't know, I guess this was an introduction to the weird twirly corner mechanic, so maybe once we move up a little bit it'll get a bit more interesting. You're oh, very weak to ground moves, aren't you? I believe. Shame I don't have one. Let's see what a rock slide does before I switch out to someone else. It's okay, we can live with that. That's okay. We'll try and take this down with Herman. Don't get evasion. Defense is also not ideal, but we can live with it. Oh, that's really quite not ideal. Okay, we're going to go to Cronicio. He'll absorb the spikes, and we can just hit it with an earthquake and hopefully kill it. Even after the defense boost. I'm not going to fuck around with this thing, honestly. This seems like a very much a, an opportunity to find out, <laughs> which we're not going to take. Emma didn't actually take any damage there, right? Yeah, cool. One more fight. Whee! That's pretty fun. I've already seen quite a spectrum of dark types though. We've seen a dark poison type, we've seen a dark fighting type. We've seen another dark poison type. Wait, is Stunky Stun Dark Poison? For some reason I thought it was just poison, but... I guess not. Yeah, got Rocky Helmeted Nerd. It lives. That was toxic, wasn't it? This fucker just used toxic on me. This little bastard is going out of his way to absolutely ruin my time. Prevent me from having any fun ever. Good thing we got that antidote now, isn't it? <laughs> it finally paid off. It was Chekhov's anti antidote, that was. <laughs> we always knew it would come in handy eventually. Alright, um, I've probably gone, gone, gone long enough for today, so we'll wrap up here. I guess we've got a few more gym trainers to deal with before we reach the gym leader. Hopefully, hopefully won't be too bad, but I have my doubts. 
I don't know what big scary dark type Pokemon we could run into, but I'm sure there's some. I'm sure there's some that will get us real good. Anyway, that's for next time. For now, I'll see you.